The worries about a divided nation are real. This country is indeed divided. But it's not so much on the things people are so worried about, the issue of tribe, the issue of region, the division that really should cause us sleepless nights is one along class. They have and they have not. That's the division that should really worry us. The tribe, the regionalism, is easy to deal with it because it's much more of an imaginary thing and a political issue that can easily be resolved. But the bigger issue that really should worry us is the division along class lines. Today, the whole nation reminds us of the divisions we had under apartheid. When we had black people living on their own in Matero, Chilenje, the white people living on their own in Woodlands, Kablonga, and so on. We are today divided along those lines and in a much deeper way. Today, the world to do have got their own schools, their own hospitals. The poor also have got their own inferior hospitals, inferior schools. The world to do have got their big shopping malls, which match those in the first world. They have got everything that is first world, while the conditions under which the poor are living are worsening and worsening. The two actually now don't even mix. The only time they mix is when the poor come to work in the rich neighborhoods. It's only the poor who move to Kablonga, to Roma, to Olympia, to Rhodes Park to work. The rich don't go to Kanyama, to Zingalume, to Chazanga, to Chipata compound, to Mandevu, to work. They don't go there. The floor is only in one direction. The poor work for the well-to-do. The well-to-do don't work for the poor. Even churches today, you have got nice churches in the rich neighborhoods. On Sunday, they are surrounded, the churches are surrounded by many cars. There is no alternative to a socialist transformation of our country to take care of these divisions. As long as we continue on this capitalist path, the divisions will deepen. Apartheid will be back in our country in a big and big way. These divisions, if they are allowed to continue, they will not end well. This is not a recipe for unity in the nation. This is not a recipe for stability in the nation. This is not a recipe for peace in a country. It is a recipe for serious revolts, for serious anarchy, for serious destabilization. The only way out of this problem is a socialist transformation. Without that, we are headed for serious, serious, serious problems.